So what I'm doing here is calibrating my pH meter before we start testing the must. I have to make sure that my pH meter is reading properly and is calibrated properly. That way when we test the must, we get a correct reading when it comes to pH. Perfect. And uh, I used to buy really expensive, nice pH meters. And I found that it's just a complete waste of money, at least for what we do. Only because um, these little $10 ones are great for, I only really need it for about a week out of the year. Uh, here, I'm dropping in. You can see this is the six buffer solution. It's just going to get Make sure you get it all. And we have the four buffer solution. Okay. Um, like I was saying, we just buy the cheap meters now. We use them for a week. And then that's pretty much that. If I need them, um, the expensive ones, you have to make sure to keep the uh, anode. I believe it's called the anode. Um, so make sure to keep the anode wet. And uh, I just found that it's too difficult. It, it's, it's a constant maintenance of it. And it's cheaper just to throw it out and buy this cheap one and uh, use it. So I want to make sure to get this good and stirred and that everything is nicely, the powder is nicely diluted. There should be no chunks of stuff on the bottom. And if there are, break them up. Sure you get this properly diluted. Now I'm going to rinse it with regular tap water. I'm just using a glass mixing rod. I'm going to rinse that with a pinch of distilled and now off to the or I always like to keep these in front as well, that way I remember which solution's which, because I'm easily distracted. The uh, four solution has a lot of crystals in the powder, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get this to dissolve in a short enough amount of time to make this video. So I do have a backup because you always have to have a backup. And that is a pre-mixed buffer solution that you can buy online from places like morewine.com. Highly recommended. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, looks like glass in there. I don't know if 
that's going to work. So the backup. pH calibration solution. You can see already mixed. You know, the six looks pretty darn good. The nice part about this is We don't need a lot of it. And uh, you can constantly check your equipment. All right. Now the instructions on this pH meter say, turn the pH meter on, dissolve the buffer solution, Immerse the electrode into 6.86 first. Press calibrate. Once it starts splashing, wait until the display stops. Rinse the electrode with distilled water. Wipe it off. Immerse the electrode into four. Press calibrate for five seconds. Once it flashes, stop, turn it off, blah, blah, blah. All right, great. So I know these are good. I'm not too sure about these. So what I'm gonna do, this particular pH meter also has a line that they tell you not to go over. And you can see the electrode here. It's that glass electrode. That's what you gotta keep wet. And it's kind of a pain in the neck. So that's why I just go ahead and buy a new one every year. They're 10, 15 bucks, it's not a big deal. So, I'm going to even rinse it. Let's turn it on. All right, and we said six first. So now I get down here. Turn into six. Hit calibrate. About five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. And, okay, rinse. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a paper towel, so I'm just gonna use my t-shirt. I'm just gonna wipe that dry. All right, next. Calibrate one, two, three, four, and okay. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, what? Oh, that sucks. All good. Back up. Okay. So now let's see what it's going to give me as a reading here. 652. Okay. 656. Yeah, so it's not even close to the. Six six zero. For the buffer solution. Now this one where the crystals haven't fully dissolved. We'll give it a shot too just to see for shits and giggles. It's telling me three seven one three seven two. It should have been three eight. It should have been four point oh four point oh one. 
So I'm going to leave these buffer solutions with the powder. And what I'm going to do is come back probably in the next day or two and uh, just see what they come back at. So it's this one, six, seven, eight, nine, six, eight, one, six, eight, one. So this one's reading six, eight, one, which is pretty, pretty close. Okay. Again, I, I know I'm not doing this right, but. Touch it a little. Good. All right. Now this one. Six, five, four oh one. Close enough for our purposes. That's a-okay. All I'm looking for is 3233 three, three on the wine. So if I'm uh, off by a hundredth, yeah, there it is, 40. I'm fine. Okay, cool. Good deal. Quick calibration. Should be all you need to know.